Now, today we're really lucky to have Ben Phelan. I want to give a couple of, uh, a little bit of an introduction about Ben because he represented something. And that something is, he has, he doesn't have a, well, you have a fine art degree, but it's a fine art degree in industrial design, right? And yet at the same time, he's making sculpture. And so the notion of a hybrid practice where one day you're an artist, the next day you're a designer, one day you're working in the industry, helping somebody do video, you probably won't have only one job, you'll probably be doing six or seven things simultaneously. You'll be developing all of them, and Ben is the embodiment of that ethos. And we really want to welcome Ben and his lecture. Thank you very much. This was a piece called uh, The Spaceball System. It really was an inflatable sphere with uh, multicolor LEDs. Video of it in operation. It's kind of fa I've been fascinated for a, a long time with the idea of uh, the screen uh, changing its shape and expanding out of just the square. And my research into that led to more stage work, building, re ripping off the electronics of that other piece and putting it into another stage uh, show uh, of stroboscopic lighting that I toured for another year. This piece was called the World Wall Healer and it installed at a, an abandoned church uh, in Brooklyn. Um, it's a little too stroboscopic for my PC to handle. But I was very interested in the idea of subjecting an entire crowd of people to high intensity stroboscopic color fields. Um, um, here's a piece that is actually one of the first things I made directly from a computer model. It's made of many, many pieces of folded paper uh, that are directly cut from a three-dimensional model file. All the little triangles, the little polygons uh, I traced out and put together and coated with epoxy uh, to make this form. And then I began to get frustrated with uh, having this kind of backlog of computer-generated objects. And um, I just started to print them out as photocopies. This is an ongoing piece called Grey Goo File Wall um, that's continuing in the gallery now that accumulates whatever files I have on my computer and puts them out in the <laughs> simplest way possible, just a laser printer in a grid. Um, I think that separation of something being on the computer screen and not being able to get at it has been very frustrating and also uh, inspiring in my work in that it makes me come up with other solutions like the hot wire cutting to try and build these forms um, without, without a computer and works using, using lighting technology to map out the surface of an object in the way that a computer modeling environment would map out the surface to an object. Icosagin is a term for a 20-sided uh, polyhedron, and both the works uh, that are created this way in the show are 20-sided figures that are extruded out of styrofoam. This is the styrofoam factory. This is the block. It's on a turntable. It spins and carves out the shadow of the object as it spins 10 times. And uh, fairly instantly produces a sculpture where we can instantaneously have whatever we want. And I kind of feel like it's a dangerous place to be able to have anything instantly that you want, especially since styrofoam makes it possible to have a very large anything that you want instantly. Um, but, I, but I mean, I feel like that's, that's the nature of design uh, or objects that we have in culture. They, they reflect desire, what people want. Every person experiences the same set of patterns uh, during, during a, uh, an interior uh, experience. These are 
mandala images and also uh, a mandala drawn by someone who had never seen a mandala before to describe what they were seeing uh, when they were looking inward or when their visual system was overloaded. I think it's pretty fascinating that the first forms that people ever were motivated to try and make were not forms that were uh, animals, but actually forms that they were perceiving uh, entirely optically. Um, this graph shows the type of things that you see when you push on your eyeballs, or you look at a strobe light, uh, or uh, uh, you alter your consciousness. They're called uh, entopic phenomena, processes that used to be natural are now entirely artificial. And I think that's something that uh, I'm excited about in these sculptures, is finding a, a type of nature that can replace uh, growth with touch and gesture as an, something that will be equally uh, satisfying. I got into this a little bit. Uh, I really appreciate you listening uh, to me this afternoon, and I wanted to uh, just hope that you look at the show and once again thank Michael and the gallery for uh, letting me uh, talk on and on.